in the greatest name of almighty allah who is rahman and rahim welcome back to dr najam lectures today we are going to perform a procedure auscultation of the fetal heart sound for that procedure first of all introduce yourself to the patient ask the patient for the verbal consent and then start the procedure for the starting the procedure you should have to wear the gloves then expose the female abdomen from the pubic symphysis up to the xiphi sternum to start the fetal auscultation first of all you should have to know that where is the position of the fetus for that we will start from the leopold maneuver and to start the leopold maneuver we should have to know the fundal height of the uterus to determine the fundal height we can use our ulnar border of our left hand and palpate where is the fundal height let's for example if the fundal height is at this region so we can start the leopard maneuvers after this the leopard maneuver consists of the three grips the fundal grips the lateral grips and the pelvic grip we will start from the fundal grip so we can perform the fundal grip to see the consistency and to see the fetal position for example if at the fundal grip we will feel any kind of the hardness so it is the head of the fetus but if it there is any kind of the softness we will feel during the fundal grip so this is the breech position then we will start our lateral grips so we can perform by putting our two hands on the lateral side of the abdomen and press with a little force and so we can palpate which position or the which side of the fetus occupies the which position if for example we will feel any kind of the irregular structures on the left side of the female body during the lateral grip in the leopard maneuvers so these are the limbs of the fetus but if during the palpation we can feel any kind of the soft structure so these are the back of the fetus now third one grip is the pelvic grip if during the pelvic grip if we found any kind of the hard structure so this is the head of the fetus but if we found any kind of the softness during the pelvic grip so this is the pelvis of the fetus now after that we know that during the leopard maneuver we palpated that where is the location of the back of the fetus and where we can feel the or auscultate the fetal heart sounds so this is all about the leopold maneuvers now we know that where is the localization of the back of the fetus or at which location we can auscultate the fetal heart sound but i should tell you that there are the four main localizations at which the back of the fetus is present let's for example at the right occipital posterior right occipital anterior left occipital posterior and the left occipital anterior these are the four main localization there are also the presence of other ones but majorly or mostly the fetal back is present at these four locations now for the auscultation of the fetal heart sounds we will use a pinard stethoscope or the fetoscope so now we know that where is the localization of the back we will place the stethoscope at this point for example if the fetal back is present at the right occipital anterior we will place the stethoscope here and listen to the heart sound and now if we know that there is the localization of the fetal back at the left occipital anterior so we will place the stethoscope at this point and we can listen to the fetal heart sound we will listen to the fetal heart sound for approximately 15 seconds and then we multiply it to the 4 15 multiply by 4 to get the results of the heartbeat for the one minute so this is all about the fetal auscultation thank you for watching do subscribe to dr najam lectures